If we aren't careful, we will be tempted only to see what is not here right now. To only see what used to be. Instead of thanking God for what remains. God says Israel is going to be like a terebinth tree or an oak tree whose stump remains after it is cut down. So that everyone will be clear on the fact that it is completely gone. What was will no longer be. But, he says in this verse, that it will still have its holy seed. God has once again, as He always has throughout history, saved His remnant that He will work through and bend the arc of history to bring about His kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And the stump is not as impressive as the lark oak tree that used to be here, but God does His best work with very little. And we should thank God that throughout history, God has again and again and again used what is only a burnt, charred stump to bring renewal and revival once more. Mark Sayers points out that this pattern of revival coming after the first great, a winnowing, cutting down of the tree, a burning of the stump, a shrinking of the church, and a crisis, it's not a coincidence that it comes afterwards. He says it's not a historical curiosity. It's a consistent pattern of how the Holy Spirit works in a community to arrest and to counteract the default mode of our hearts because we constantly tell ourselves, we're good, we don't need Him. And God has to show us just how desperate we are. That's what He does in Isaiah's heart. That's what we need in our hearts. 